Hey there guys, um, I'm going to show you how to remove the three dots or the menu button that pops out when you download a launcher that you want to use on the HTC One S by T-Mobile. Now, as soon as we open it, sorry about the light. I was watching the video. Alright, this is what I mean. The three dots. Click it, that pops out. People want to lose that. People don't don't like that. Oh, okay, so people are wondering, how do you get rid of that? You know, I want to get rid of these three dots. It's really annoying. It comes out. I, I click an application and then it's really annoying. I don't want it. So, I'm going to teach you guys how to remove these three dots. It's plain and simple. It's like right in front of your noses. And we don't know. But... I'm going to show you exactly, that way you can download any launcher to run on your HTC One S. Now, so what we do is, we click, well whatever you want, you can click the button, I'm on Go Launcher, I'm running Go Launcher, you go to Settings. Now, from Settings, you want to go all the way down to Display, Gestures and Buttons. Okay, so you see everything right here, but you never wonder, what is this recent apps button? Well, if you know what this means is that it's, you know, the little button here in the in the corner that pops all that out. All right, going back to that, you click recent apps button, and it, in a little menu, a little screen pops on the screen, it says always open recent apps, press for menu, press and hold for recent apps, or press for recent apps, press and hold for menu. You got to pick the one in the middle. And what that does is that as soon as you click it, the the settings button will suppose, supposedly come out if you if on the ACC sense, but it, it actually doesn't. It only works on launchers. So I go home and voila. No button. Now what happens when I press this button? The menu. And you and you're wondering, oh, but uh, can you know, am I gonna lose the recent apps? No, all you gotta do is hold it, and there you go. That's all you have to do. Now, going back, there you go, there you go. No more three buttons, dots, whatever you oh, it's not there no more. It's gone. Let me let me go through it again. Click the settings, display, recent apps button. Always open apps. We go back, and it's there again. But you don't want it because it gets annoying. So remember that settings, displaying gestures and buttons, buttons, and always the one in the middle. Just remember that, folks. Yes, go back, and voila, it's gone. You have now solved the problem, not for not for Go Launcher, but any other launcher that was having this effect with the three annoying buttons. Oh, and just and just to uh, remind you, that also removes the sorry about that. That also removes the buttons that would come out. Remember, the, it would come out on the bottom. It doesn't anymore. So you could go to any application now. See. No buttons there. Any. I could go to where would I would see one. Give me a second. There was an application where I would see the buttons in the bottom. Oh, here we go. Amazon. If I go to the Amazon account, it would always be here in the bottom. See how it's gone now? I click here. Voila. If I were to go to the settings, just to show you guys real quick, sorry for wasting your time. Gestures, recent apps, always open. If I go back to what happened, see? It is back. The annoying button on the one that everyone doesn't want to see. It takes some time. Yes, I know it does. So once again, we go back to uh, recent apps buttons. Click. We're gone. We're gone. And we're good. Oh, I gotta hold it. Forgot. 
and what happens voila we are free from these annoying buttons but Jeff the menu just remember click the app button and that's it so there you go folks guys women a1 kids aliens dogs whoever it is they're watching this video uh, I just showed you how to remove the button and this HTC one is running go launcher please subscribe comment like I don't know something hate it dislike it and have a great day sayonara